Having trouble in some of your classes? Don't worry, because Logan Rose is here to give you some helpful studying tips that, if applied, will boost those grades. As the end of the semester draws closer, you might be thinking to yourself, man, I really need to bring up some of these grades. The solution to your problems? Studying. And I don't mean rushing through your notes five minutes before the exam. Going to the library and reviewing over what you learned earlier in the week, for even just an hour, always helps. Studying has helped me because I feel more prepared and confident when I take exams. Getting together a couple of buddies from your class and forming a study group can also be a super useful tool. Definitely get together a group of like people that you can study really hard with, like you'll like a group of your friends or just people in class. Don't put anything off until the last minute because cramming does nothing. <laughs> so definitely take just a little bit of time like every day and and then you'll feel a lot better. Yeah. Flashcards, practice exams, some guy on YouTube. These are all great tools for studying. Also, don't forget that you can go straight to the source and talk to your professors during office hours. Taking advantage of all these tips can hopefully get you that grade you've been striving for. For MSU Tonight, I'm Logan Rose. This Saturday, English 105 students and the American Red Cross are partnering up to provide Callaway County residents with three smoke detector tests and installations. For more information, call 270-519 5942. Last Sunday, November 10th, Murray State students enrolled in Globalization held a photography exposition as part of their final projects for the class. The, expo the exposition was held in Callaway County Public Library from 2 to 4. Artwork is hung around the walls and guests were encouraged to walk around, look at the photographs, and listen to the students present their work. Students presented their work to all that were in attendance and answered all the questions that the guests had. The event was a success. After 25 years, this Saturday's football game will be the last for Racer Band Director John Fannin. Because of that, this weekend is going to be the first ever Racer Band reunion. It starts on Friday in Lovett Auditorium with a concert by the University Symphonic Band and Wind Ensemble. Then on Saturday, two, over 200 alumni will be joining the Racer Band on the field to play the fight song in 2001 at halftime. The concert starts at 7.30 p.m. and the game starts at noon. In honor of Veterans Day yesterday, Murray State had many events around campus recognizing and honoring all those who have served. The events included a remembrance display set up on the quad, a hot dog meal in the Curtis Center, a ceremony with a choral performance of the national anthem, keynote speaker Dr. Eric Fritz inside the Curtis Center Theater, and ending the day by playing taps out on the quad to honor those who have given the ultimate sacrifice of serving our country. Alan Patterson, the coordinator for the Veterans Day festivities, explains to us how important it is to celebrate Veterans Day not only on campus, but throughout the community as well. Veterans have sacrificed a lot of things to give us the freedoms that we currently have. For 100 years, we've celebrated Veterans Day, a celebration that we'd like to continue. So by bringing awareness to Murray State University, it brings us the opportunity to provide that chance to honor those who have served in the past, present, and that will serve in the future. Thank you again to all the veterans for serving our country. Don't go anywhere. There's more to come on MSU Tonight.